Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the map, the interactive map in Google My Map and share it to your friend. Uh, first of all, you have to go to www.google.com slash maps and then it will take you to this website. Uh, and then you can click here to create a new map. You can click on here. And then you have to uh, you have to kill the name And it's loading. While it's loading, we will show you everything else. You see, here is a natural protected area we can hold it and we show it here. And you can make the style of this into category style by click on here, and you can choose. Uh, style by column and I call it category and I'm going to this so and here the map that we are showing is the protected areas by each category such as wildlife sanctuary, natural park, protected landscape, multiple use area, Ramsar site and multi-use arrangement and I can also change the color here by click on this icon and I choose this one and natural park I can click on here and choose the blue one and I click and for the protected landscape I can for landscape I can choose the, the gray one so we can get multiple use area I can use the little green one and for the Ramsar side, before the water, so I use the, the, the wetland in the water, so I'm going to use uh, this color. The color you can assign, it depends on you. You can choose the color, and then you can you can also uh, create, the you identify, uh, identifies the transparency of the layer and also the border of it. And then finish show the map on the right hand side are color the map on the sides are color based on our categories so when I finish this map on my Google my maps I can also change the layer the best map depend on what you want to visualize or to show to your friends now there are many best maps that you can choose like this one is look cool so I'm going to choose it and then to share this map to others you have to uh, click on this one and you can embed on like your website you can embed on your website or bring this map to into your pdf file and you can also click here to share to your friend by this link and change the private in here and that and then you click on this, you will get what is it? It's like the size of the protected area in there, the information in here, and it also calculates the size of it 400,000.
yeah, it's quite accurate. Yeah, between the actual size and the shape, the generator size. And you can also add the, the picture of the protected areas if you have. And a lot of things you can do if you go on my mouse. Last but not least, you can add more than one layer by clicking on add another layer. And it, you will have another layer that you can import or you can draw on it. When you want to draw, you can create a marker right here and I click on the marker. So into my new layer, if I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to delete it. I like this map, it's the protected area in Cambodia. Bye bye if you have any questions, ask me. Bye bye again. Okay.